that's the game. And unfortunately, that's the season for the Colts as the fireworks fly here at Arrowhead Stadium. All I gotta say, it's been a great season. We'll get better. These dudes brought me here. I didn't expect this kind of bond, this kind of brotherhood, man. I appreciate every single one of y'all and everything y'all got. When people wrote us off and wanted five, we came together and we bought our asses off. Can't nobody take that from us. Can't nobody take nothing from us for what we did this year. I appreciate y'all. I love every one of y'all. We know this ain't gonna be the same next year. That's how it is. But we gonna we got a team, boy. And let's put this together. Like he said, we can't climb Everest the first time. It's hard. But then we gonna do that. We gonna make that pet right now, man. Let's go, man. Bring it up. Oh man, I love y'all, boys. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. You had a very emotional post-game speech. Where'd that come from? Um. It was just heart. Mm -hmm. It was just, you know, it took an organization that believed in me when no one else did, a team that took me in as their brother, and I felt like they knew that I would, I would always give them my all. For Eric Ebron, the 2018 season was as much about receiving as it was about giving. Lofting it for Eric Ebron, touchdown, touchdown! How was that for you last year? It was so fun. My wife enjoyed it. I think we were like week five, and I was like five touchdowns. And I'm like, honey, <laughs> don't get too excited because this will end. And then we're like week six, week seven. We're like, all right, honey, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. And we just kept going. I'm like, look, we're going to ride this thing out now. Let's go. Eric Ebron, 11 receptions in the red zone, 11 touchdowns. I told him not to play, man. I told him, don't play man coverage against 85. They did it. In his first season under Frank Reich, Ebron led all tight ends with 14 touchdowns. Good job, man. Thanks, awesome. man. Good job, Thank man. Thank you for bringing me here. Oh, I swear. Thank is you it. for being here. We're here because of you. Professionally, last year is the high. Mm -hmm. Where was the low? Um, I think my low was my last year in Detroit. Goes up in the middle, it is dropped. Hit Eric Ebron right in the hands again, and he didn't hold on down to 35. I thought that that was going to be my year. Like, I thought that that was going to be my the year that I had here. I thought, you know, because I knew what I was capable of. And right now, Eric Ebron is just flat lost. He would call me and, and say, you know, I just don't feel like myself. You know, I'm not loving football. Like, I know I, I did. It was my it was my passion, and now it kind of just seems like work. Mm -hmm. And I just told him I wanted him to be happy. And, you know, this is ongoing. Yeah, the fans here want to see more out of Eric, and they've let him know about it. I kind of just let it play out. Then they end up releasing me. That was, like, the lowest I've ever been. They didn't want me there, and I kind of didn't want to be there, mm -hmm. to be honest. Um, so what I did was I cried. I thought a little bit, I cried to myself. You know, I had to really man up and figure out who I was all over again. And then when I got the call from Frank, Frank told me, I want you to have fun. I want you to bring that juice and I want you to go out there and do you. Let go, man. Y'all gotta have that energy, cuz. If I'm not me, if I'm not loud, if I'm not amping up every situation, if I'm not in people's face, Frank thinks something's wrong with me. Are you sick? Is there something wrong? That's who I am. Where did that come from? Have you always had that That's growing up? Me. Yeah. That's always been me since I was a kid. Were you like, in trouble a lot as a kid? A lot, mm -hmm. a lot. I was a boxer when I was young. It was kind of my way of kind of staying out of trouble. Mm. So. I box nonstop, workout, box, workout, box. And I always watch Mike Tyson. I always watch Mike Tyson. And when I went to the signing, it was like, Mike Tyson's here. I was like, I'm going to say what's up to Mike Tyson. And I was just like, I just want to let you know, when I was younger, it kept me out of trouble. And you were my inspiration as I was younger. And I'm, I'm honored to meet you. And he just put it, my hand over his heart and just said, thank you. It Aww. means a lot. So it was, it was dope. Is that up there, big um, moments in life? Big moments, definitely up there with big moments yeah. in my life. Wait. You guys want to see my gift my wife got yeah, me for my birthday? Like, of course, we want to see the gift you As big you moments know? go, there is nothing yeah, quite like what happened to Ebron last season. You would describe Eric. Oh, look at that. So oh, yeah. 14 regular season touchdowns, of course. Sorry. Three different yeah. Who's that? pictures of the of Who's different that? touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah. And Who's then that? I just kind of made it a little collage. Oh, cool. and this is the Rocky and the Baby. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's 
that's when Aiden was born. This is when Aiden was born. I think that was, was the yeah. first one of the season, right? With the, the Yeah, this was the first touchdown of the, the season. season. And that's then this the was one. the game winner to beat Miami. Amazing. So yeah. Aiden was born January 3rd, and that game was <gasps> January. Texans game. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. Sixth or that whatever that? it was, maybe. Yeah. I was trying to hold off till he got here. Because you're from Houston. I'm from Houston. So and the game's in Houston. It was in Houston, that first playoff game in Houston right. that weekend. But I literally went walked over to the hospital and had him in three hours. Wait, so he wasn't there? He missed the birth, but he got there probably like two or three hours oh, after you're, it happened. You're amazing. Yeah. You did this. Gabby just pumps the baby out. She's like, oh, okay, by the way, here's your, your yeah. son. Yeah. <laughs> Ebron went from the hospital to NRG Stadium in search of his first postseason victory. Okay, man, what's up? All day, all day. Andrew Luck throws right side, caught by Eric Ebron. Touchdown, touchdown, Eric Ebron. Hey, this for my son. This for my son right here. You feel me? Now in his sixth season, Eric Ebron has been reborn in Indianapolis. When I say Detroit Lions now, what do you think? Um, I think of a part of a chapter in my life that made me a better person. I think of a place where I had to go to understand who I truly was. So I take it as a blessing. Mm -hmm. I take it as a place that I'll never forget, an experience I'll never forget, and I'm happy where I am now. Mm -hmm. Do you want to end your career in Indianapolis? Forever. I never want to leave. I think they know that. Mm -hmm. This is, they made such an impact on me and my family, except us wherever we go. I mean, I had like this whole introduction, my first Pacers game. It just felt so home-like. Like, especially with the contrast exactly. that you had in Detroit. And especially from where I came from to where I am now, mm -hmm. it just, they just overshadowed everything. So it's just been great. Going off, I told him I was going off. 